What a day, folks, fellas, for the Detroit Red Wings. Lots of signings. It's the start of free agency. And uh, there's quite a few names here. Uh, and I'm going to go in reverse order. Dave Perron is, su is suspected to be signing a two-year deal. The amount is we're unsure about. Um, he's six foot, 201 pounds, shoots right, left wing, can play left wing, can play right wing. He's won a Stanley Cup. Uh, he's been on a 27 goal pace for four straight seasons. He's from Quebecois, I believe. Uh, great signing in 67 games this year. He had 27 points, 27 goals, 30 assists for 57 points in the playoffs. 12 games, he scored nine goals and four assists for 13 points. This guy's good on one timers. This guy's got a nasty uh, snapshot, wrist shot. Wow, so much to say here. I'm going to get through the free agents signings before I make any comments. Okay, Ben Sherratt, four times 4.75, okay? He is a six foot three, 234 pound, 31 year old, left handed shooting defenseman. Uh, Oli Mata, six foot two, 205 pound, 27, I believe, shooting, left handed shooting defenseman. He signed a one times 2.25 year deal. Uh, the last one, oh, actually two more. Uh, Marco Casper signed his entry-level deal. Uh, who knows why he signed that. He's going to be playing in Rogla 22-23 season. Maybe it has something to do with the cap increasing. I have no idea. I'm not a businessman, not a finance man, not an accountant. I don't know. Um, leave a comment as to why you think he did that and how you feel about that. I really have no opinion. And then Andrew Kopp, the big ticket. Oh, my. Signed a 5 by 5.625 deal. He is six foot one, 205 pounds, and shoots left. He said he talked to Steve Eisenman for about an hour. Eisenman was really honest about what he wanted. He thinks Cop can play every single forward position. Uh, he can be playing special teams. He can be def uh, playing a checking or a more offensive role. Uh, I think he's the, now let's start talking about what I think. He is the 2C the Red Wings have been looking for. Wow. He has played 54 career playoff games. Nine, for a total of nine goals and 17 uh, assists for 26 points. And in the regular season, I think he's played somewhere just under 500 games. He averages .42 power play goals a game. Now, he is 28 years old. He just turned 28. Happy birthday. So he's going to be 28 the entire season. In the summer, he'll be 29. He's from Ann Arbor. Talk about him a little bit more. So you could call him a hometown boy. He played for the Wolverines, so he, know, he knows Larks well. He said he plays golf with Fabry, and he's he uh, he thinks Bertuzzi is a great guy. Uh, he commented on the younger players. He's excited about Raymond and Cider and all the other players they got going. Uh, I guess you should know that he got traded halfway through the season, or like 75% through the 21-22 season to the Rangers, and he was on a line with Ryan Strom and Artemi Panarin. He played great there. He, in 16 games, he scored 8 goals and 10 assists for 18 points. Worth noting, uh, one of the games, he scored a hat-trick, so, you know, scores in bunches maybe. I'm not really familiar with him. Nolan Bianchi gave a fun fact about him on Twitter. Uh, he apparently used to play high school football, and in the 2011 season with the Ann Arbor Skyline High School, he set a single-game state record passing for 557 yards and seven passing touchdowns that's that's pretty cool seems like a nice guy he's excited to be in Detroit uh, he's talked on the NHL Network and ESPN he said you know knows everyone says this about the Red Wings they know it's a storied franchise that for him it's not just wearing the jersey uh, it's almost like carrying a banner uh, okay let's talk about the, the size of the defenseman holy guacamole so cider Six foot four, 197 pounds, 21 years old. Jake Wallman, six foot one, 201 pounds, 26, I believe. Simon Evanson, who's probably going to play in GR. If he earns a spot in Detroit, that would be sweet. Don't think that's going to happen. He's six five, 207, 19 years old. So, you know, he'll fill out maybe a little bit, way a little bit more in the future. Ben Chira, oh, big puppy. Six foot three, like I said, 234. That's Pat Maroon size, you know? That's, uh, He's probably going to hit hard. I don't honestly haven't seen him watch a lot, play a lot. I got to watch some of his highlights. Ali Mata, not a big point getter. He's just a good defenseman. Uh, Finnish fella. Uh, I, I already told you his weight 6'2, 205 pound, left handed shooting defenseman. Okay, so what this tells me, all the free agent signings, is that the Detroit 
Red Wings in their hockey ops are tired of being a dog shit team. Okay, this is what their roster might look like next year. I'm pretty confident this is what the top two lines are going to look like, and they're pretty good. All right, so Larks, 1C, uh, flanked by Raymond and Bertuzzi. Cop, 2C, flanked by Verona and Perron. Just think about that. We got Perron, who's a sniper, Verona, who's a, who's a sniper, and Cop, who is apparently a two-way centerman. Those, it's just incredible, the improvement from last year. Uh, down the middle and on the wings it's two really solid lines it'll be it'll increase their depth and hopefully uh their success in an 82 game season and then the third and fourth line who kind of who knows what's going to happen there i have maybe for 3c suitor and on the wings zadina and fabry who knows what's going to happen with zadina does he have much room to grow we'll see and then 4c i could see rasmussen interchangeable with Valeno or even Sunquist, and then on the wings we could see Berggren and and uh who else Giovanni Smith Adam Ernie there's the I'm pretty confident in the top two lines but as far as the third and fourth are con concerned I have no idea what's going to go on there and then on defense uh we got Ben Sherratt uh playing alongside Sider for the first pairing second pairing I think because they're a little bit more skill will be Wallman playing with Philip Peronik and then on the third pairing, it will be Ali Mata with Gustav Lindstrom. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with Osterley. And maybe Evanson will play in GR, play a little bit in Detroit. We'll see. And then we got sick goaltending, right? We got Ned and Huso. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's sweet. The remaining cap space before we know the Perron, Perron's contract is 18 million remaining. So they went from somewhere around 31 million to start the day. And now they've spent $13 million on signing players. Let's go through them one more time. We got David Perron, two years. Not sure how much that contract is. We got Ben Chirot, 4 by 4.75. We got uh, Ali Mata, 1 times 2.25. Marco Casper, entry-level deal. And then Andrew Kopp, 5 times 5.625. So a lot to like about today. Who knows what else is going to happen, but the Red Wings are going to have a better season. Uh, it just, in terms of the, the the players that they have on their roster, the depth, it's it, it'd be an absolute shocker if they perform worse in this upcoming season than they did in the fall, uh, the season before, where they had the worst penalty kill in the entire NHL. And you know what happened in the back half? They just didn't have the legs to get through there. So this is exciting. Uh, development camp is wrapping up. It's currently day four. There's a bug on my cell phone. You gotta get off there, Mister. Okay, he's on the other side. I can't see him now. So it's day four of development camp, Wednesday, July 13th. William Wallinder, you know, he's looking pretty good. I saw a highlight yesterday of him going between the legs, top cheddar, like as a defenseman, are you kidding me? And George Malik said that it was, he was using a borrowed stick when he did that. That's uh, something you can check out on the YouTube channel. And then the last thing I'll say today is that Thursday is the last day of developmental camp and they are going to be having a three-on-three -three tournament broken up into Team Lindsay and Team Howe. So if you want to watch that streaming on the Red Wings YouTube channel, their Facebook page, you know, who goes on Facebook anymore, and DetroitRedWings.com. So that's, that's all I got. And, uh, yeah, this is the first day of free agency, all this, all this news. This is exciting stuff, all right. Peace out, and have a good uh, week and weekend. Maybe I'll make a video tomorrow. We'll see. Bye.